we're gonna attach the shoulder strap here and at any of these three rings here just think about it two of these on each side no handle you got yourself a backpack hi my name is Tony and today this you may think you need to be a pro to make this well I'll show you in the next few minutes that anyone can make this almost anyone I'm not sure about your grandmother but you can do this and I'll show you how so what do you need to get started leather this may come as a surprise to some of you but yeah you're gonna need a little bit of leather all right about 5.5 square feet for this small one here about 10 square feet for this big boy right here look at that that's beautiful now pay attention because this next part is important i use two types of leather for the main body I recommend four five ounces medium to soft temper leather and uh, six seven ounces of vegetable tan for the bottom the shoulder strap and the handle right here you're also gonna need a few d-rings a buckle two swivel hooks and six rivets I will leave a link to everything you need down in the video description. What else you gonna need? The pattern. You are gonna need a pattern because you, you're not gonna waste your time and materials trying to figure uh, this out. I've already done that for you. So grab the pattern for both these bags using the link in the video description the pdf file is made to work on any home printer but you will need to piece all the larger piece together because obviously regular size paper is too small for these big pieces of uh, the bag see what i mean it's too small now you can use the paper patterns to cut your leather if this is your first time using our patterns I strongly recommend you watch this video where I'm going to show you the whole process in great detail. What? You ready? You have everything cut and all the holes punched? Okay, then we're ready. Let's teach these little things first. There are 16 of them for the large bag and 12 for the small one. It was years ago, but how can I forget? We were 16 up all night. Love and heartbreak was Note, I didn't punch these middle holes yet. That's because I want to make sure I punch them right in the middle of these round pieces. Now everything is perfectly centered. Good. Let's leave this on the side and put the handle together. This part is very easy. Just stitch this piece along this edge with this bit in the middle and after we move on to the bottom.
For this piece, please use the toughest piece of leather you have. If you don't think whatever you have available is sturdy enough, just glue two pieces of leather together and use that to make a this. The second bit is this belt connecting the main body to the bottom and uh, this strap holding uh, 3D rings in place. We continue by connecting this belt at both ends using a cross stitch. First time you try this type of stitching, don't worry, it is very easy, but it only works with leather at least two millimeters thick of five ounces. Also, you need to constantly pull and keep pressure on the stitch till you finish it. Once you have a loop attached and this strap which will later help you connect a shoulder belt to your bag so you can you know carry it around. Don't forget the D-rings, need to get those in there now. Next, connect this loop to the round bottom. But you need to wedge shape this belt a little on the connecting edge, like I'm gonna do here. After you bend the edges to about 90 degrees, start your stitching. Great, now we have everything we need to put this together, except the strap, which we will do later. Now tell me, how do you like this stitch? Fabulous, isn't it? 
Let me show you how it's done. We will not use one, not two, but three different stitching lines on each edge to achieve the stitch. First, we do a straight up saddle stitch along this middle line here. I found that it is easier to turn the leather inside out and stitch it like that. Next part, we need to fold the leather and a stitch uh, this line as well. But start from the bottom here and use this reinforcement piece as well. Don't leave this out. This part isn't optional. As soon as you get here, we need to add the ends of the handle. Be careful not to miss any holes. You will be stitching through four layers of leather at the same time. So take your time and make sure you connect the handle on the right side, on the outside, all right? Once you get to this point, attach the other end of the handle. Note, there are plenty of holes left here, which you need to connect as well. Once this side is done, you know, the other side, same thing, go for it. Next, let's fold the upper rim here and stitch it like so. One more thing, this supporting strap we'll have another D-ring at this end. So insert the ring now and fold this end like so.
the main body is pretty much ready as well. So we can connect it to the bottom. Now, center this fabulous stitch at the back here and connect the two with a simple saddle stitch all around here. Our duffel is pretty much done. Use a regular leather cord or a string to tie it up and short of a shoulder strap, we are done. Just think about it. Two of these on each side, no handle, you got yourself a backpack. However, if you just wanna wear it over your shoulder like that, you're only gonna need one strap and this handle to lift it up. The strap can be any strap that has some sort of a hook at both ends, like these ones here. These will swivel at both hands, so the strap will never twist in uncomfortable positions. My patterns will have the plans for this strap, but you can of course use your own. Just make sure you cut it long enough and make sure you have some sort of a buckle here to be able to adjust its length. A shoulder pad is also recommended so the strap doesn't dig into your shoulder when heavy.
Well, if you were just curious how something like this is done, thank you very much for watching. If you use this tutorial and my patterns to make one of these bad boys, congratulations, I am proud of you. Either way, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're new here. So next time we are making something amazing, you, you are the first to know. Peace.